What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate 2 Reviews and this is going to be my one month update on the Brunt Work Boots. Well it's a little bit more than one month, I think it's like one month and five or six days, but not a big deal. Now I've pretty much worn these almost every single day and I haven't done anything to these boots, anything out of the ordinary of course, you know, I haven't really you know, washed them or cleaned them or did any oil to them. I just wore them for a month straight on the job and see how well they held up. Um, now Brunt did send me these work boots, but they didn't tell me to say anything good or bad about them. They just said, give them a shot, have fun with them. So that's what I did with these boots. And I'll let you know everything that I like and don't like about these boots. Now I will say, first off, the break-in period of these boots is quite quick actually. Um, I would say it's about six hours of use on these. Um, I did wear them at home for a little bit. Then I wore them um, like a half day the next day on the job. And by then, day two on the job, they were already broken in and ready to go. So really quick break-in period. I will say a lot of the reviews say that these are very, very comfortable. I definitely actually agree. Probably the most comfortable work boots I have used to date. Um, they just overall, they kind of just feel like, you know, like you're wearing a larger sock, honestly. Um, they don't really have any like really hard parts to them. You know, nothing that really, you know, pinches your foot anywhere. Nothing that really rubs your foot anywhere. It's kind of just a nice, comfortable boot. Um, these are, of course, the composite toe, but you can't really tell, which is nice. They do have a nice amount of flex to them, and they kind of have a pretty decent job of protecting your foot, too. So overall, you can see that, yeah, they've definitely been, you know, in the mud, in the dirt. Um, water, they say that they are waterproof or weatherproof. Definitely can agree with that. Never got any um, water on the inside of the boots so far. I've been water about this deep with these boots so far. And of course, that's going to be up above the uh, the tongue here so that's been totally fine not any issues there at all when it comes to water however though the water is kind of a little bit of an issue with these boots now let me show you something here before i go any farther here is my dewalt work boots that i wear a lot on the left here and here's the brun work boots on the right now the dewalt work boots are slip resistant oil resistant the brunt not so much i will say these boots are very slippery is the one downside getting in and out of my trailer um, working around you know smoother surfaces that are wet these things are super slippery and i am not exaggerating that they are <laughs> pretty slippery um, far more slippery than really any boot that i've worn to date so they're totally fine you know on rough terrain demolition work but you get in any smooth surfaces that are wet, that's where these things kind of have a bit of an issue. And I did slip a number of times, um, not where I fell or anything, but you gotta be careful with these boots. Um, you know, just looking at the tread on the bottom, yeah, they are definitely pretty smooth already. They don't claim slip resistance on the bottom anywhere here or oil resistance. That's kind of the one downside that I saw with these boots that I thought is just, eh, that's kind of one thing I wanted to bring up. Other than that, these boots have been fantastic. I love the uh, large loop on the back, getting these things on is nice. I love other boots, they don't really have a loop. They just kind of have like a little thing here and there's not really any grip on this at all. It's kind of just a little tab. It's You can get like your thumb on there, maybe your index finger and that's it. This thing I can get two whole fingers in and I am good to go get my boots on, no problem. But as you can see, these have taken quite a beating so far in one month um, and there's not really any damage. Um, I actually had my weed whacker hit this boot here pretty good. I think it was. I think it was this one. I can't really find any damage from it at all. Um, these things do hold up really, really well. I'm quite impressed um, that they don't really show a lot of damage, uh, like my Dewalt work boots do. If you hit them with something, you're definitely going to see a mark on those. That'll be pretty noticeable. Um, but overall, you can definitely tell. Like you know, they've definitely taken some scuffs, some beatings there, and uh, they are still holding up just fine. Also, I did get a chance to try out both of the insoles. I'm not really a fan of the thinner one. I just didn't like it at all. It didn't really provide a lot of support. So I went with the larger one and that seemed to work out fantastic. This is the insole I've had in there for the majority of the time. It's holding up pretty good. A um, little bit of, you know, kind of getting the wear here on the back end, um, but it's not really showing any significant wear here just yet. And that's after one month of use here, so. Not bad. I would definitely say if you're getting these boots, I'd say definitely try this one out first. I found this one to be the most comfortable, whereas the salt, smaller, thinner one designed for if you have a little bit wider foot. So that's kind of just my two cents there of trying them both out. Definitely didn't like this one after like a day of use. I was like, nope, I'm gonna swap back out to the more thicker one that had more padding to it. 
And that's about it guys for my one month update. I can't really comment on durability too much having it for just one month, but I wanna do another update in six months and then another update in one year to really give you guys a um, you know good basis here for testing these boots out. So far though guys, to summarize, I think they're holding up fantastic. I do like having the dual insoles you can pick from are fantastic to have. Really give you some nice options and good comfort. My only downside though is they are pretty slippery on smooth, wet surfaces more so than any other boot that I have tested to date. So that's the only downside that I've discovered so far, but they've been holding up great. Composite toe is fantastic. Haven't really had anything, you know, really heavy fall on my toes on these just yet, but I'll get there. That always happens once in a while for the type of work that I do. But guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think about Brunt Mark boots so far. If you got any, let me know what you think. And uh, I'll see you guys in six months with another update on this. So take care guys, have a great day and stay safe out there.